Stop getting the wrong advice. Ensure you get the right skills for the right job for jobs in the Middle East. Contact Loy Macedo. Hi there, Loy Macedo. Speaking to you from LoyMacedo.com. Who is Loy Macedo and think personal branding? All right. The time right now is 4.30 in the morning, and um, <laughs> I just thought I'd share this news with you. Okay. Now, as you know, I have a couple of clients, contacts, connections in uh, uh, the Middle East, especially UAE. Okay. And um, I do get calls from time to time. So one of them, uh, or rather a few of them, are my VIP clients, clients whom I've had relationship for many years and uh, who pay me a good deal of money for my services. So one of them actually got in touch with me um, a few days ago. And he told me, Loy, there is a problem and uh, I need your service. So he booked a session with me and um, asked him, what is it? So this is what he told me. He had gone for one of those, uh, you know, sexual massages, okay, where they not only give you a massage, but they also give you a happy ending after they finish the massage. So he had gone for this massage, okay. He had a good time. He enjoyed it. You know, he's a nice guy, uh, family guy. So, uh, you know, nothing big happened. So he went home, happy with his family, everything going on fine, okay. However, it seems that after a few uh, days or weeks, he got this message, okay? He got this message, which he shared with me. And uh, I'll read out the message to you and I'll share the screenshot, okay? Obviously, I've censored his name. So this is what he got sent by supposedly the CID, okay? And I'll address. So this is what he sent. And uh, this is what it says. From the office of Colonel, the name has been put, Muhammad something, Colonel, okay? I will not put the full name. Writing to you from Abu Dhabi Police Headquarters, okay? His name, your penal case, they put a penal case code, so-and-so number, got to my table this morning. The patrol team arrests sets of sex hackers escort ladies in the streets of Hamdan, Abu Dhabi. During our investigation, it was discovered that you are in contact with one of the prostitutes. This is against the penal code of the nation. Then, after a thorough investigation of your case file, you have been declared guilty of violating Article 363, 364 and 365 of the UAE Penal Code. Then next, Patronizing communication with prostitutes is an incentive to motivate and promote tourism in the UAE. Uh, prostitution in the UAE, not tourism, which is against the law. And anyone who violates the law must pay the fine attributed to his slash her offense or he will serve jail terms. And then they gave a nice screenshot of Article 363, 364, 365, 366, 367, you know, uh, screenshots. Following that, to this effect, you are found guilty of violating the law. You have a fine of 9,000 dirhams, which must be paid immediately to close your case. Warning. His name. Are you ready to pay this fine to close the case? Or I should go on and blacklist your passport, sign your case, and forward your details to the public prosecution department for your arrest. Okay. So the poor guy got this message. And obviously, he was a little, oh, what will I do? What will I do, Loy? You know, uh, so, and I told him, let's relax. Just, just take it easy. Okay. Now, this is not the first time that I have had a case like this. My previous client, who is a multimillionaire, he had, uh, you know, he got this girl and they were ch uh, chatting on the webcam. And, you know, obviously, you know, she was showing him a little bit here and there and, then finally, he got turned on. So she said, show me your cock. I want to see it. And so she was, you know, showing herself naked. He was busy masturbating. They enjoyed each other, webcam sex, whatever. And he gave her a tip and bye-bye. He got a call after, I think, call or email after a few days asking for 50,000 dirhams. Okay. Uh, and he was like, oh, sheesh, what am I going to do? Because they blackmailed him that they would expose him and put this video online. So he gave 50,000. They, after a few days, again, he got another 50,000. He did this, I think, four or five times until which he got so fed up. He was like, go do whatever the shit you want. You know, I'm not going to keep paying you like 50,000 every time you get in touch with me. Finally, nothing happened because they did, they did send him 
uh, many other threatening messages to his emails. He he was under tremendous stress until which he finally got in touch with me. And then, you know, I kind of sorted the problem out for him. I, I told him, don't need to fucking worry. So now this is a new strategy. So it seems apparently when you go for a massage or when you go and a happy ending and after you get that, you enjoyed your time. But then these people, they have your number. This is what they tend to do. So now the question is, should you pay or should you not pay? Let me tell you the solution, okay? Uh, let me give you the solution. Very simple, very, very simple. Number one, uh, get this in mind. The CID or Dubai police or Abu Dhabi police or any of the police, number one, they never ever send you a WhatsApp message. Never. Absolutely never. They never send you a WhatsApp message. Um, that is number one. Second one is they never send you a message telling you about the law, the rules and regulations on WhatsApp. Number three is they never send you a message asking you, pay me money or else I will do this. Okay, because that is nothing but blackmailing and bribing. And number four is, if you are found guilty of something, they will always tell you, please come down to the office. We need to talk. And after they talk, they will ask you questions. They will ask you questions to verify, is this true? Is this false? If it's false, uh, you claim it's false, then it goes to the next step. So there's a step-by-step -step process. They never, ever discuss things on WhatsApp. They never, ever discuss like sending you a message, or declaring the laws. And most importantly, they never ask you, give me the money or else I will do this. So please, Adam, the funny thing about this message is if you check through any of the uh, softwares that is true color or something, and you check the uh, identity of this person, it, it shows CID officer, okay? And then if you check the screenshot of the guy, it shows a policeman uh, with his, you know, face three stars or two stars, along with his number. That never, ever bloody happens. I have had a mentor who was with the Dubai police. He was a colonel. He never, ever did this, okay? Please, get this in your head. They never do this, and they never show their face. Uh, in fact, just to let you know, I've already shared these details with uh, my contacts and connections, and, um, you know, the full force of the law will be, you know, handed over to these idiots. So what I'm trying to tell you is, Please be careful of scammers. I've always told you, be careful of scammers, be careful of fraudsters. They try to trap you into this, okay? So if you do go for a massage, remember, you go to a prostitute, you do go for a massage, and, you know, you just did your thing, very quiet, hush-hush, you didn't trouble anyone. There is nothing to worry about, okay? The police and everyone else is aware that such services exist, and they also know that if you do it quietly, you don't trouble anyone, you don't bother anyone, you're just minding your own business, doing your own tick tick, you know, whatever. They are not going to start, you know, either you pay me the money or I'm going to blacklist your passport on that also to WhatsApp. So the poor guy was absolutely petrified and scared. I spoke to him. He was relaxed. He was calm. And finally, nothing is going to happen. So what I want to tell you is if any one of you is having this experience that someone sends you a WhatsApp message and they threaten you and they blackmail you, I know that you would be scared because obviously going to a prostitute is not something that you would probably say. or nobody's allowed to blackmail you. Even if, let's say, you had, I've had examples where a guy and girl had sex outside marriage and the guy threatened to blackmail the girl and, uh, you know, uh, threatened to publish these photographs or videos online. You can't do that. And if anyone does that, that person who is blackmailed will be jailed and deported. You will not get into problems. The police understands all this stuff, okay? So all I'll tell you is, please take it easy, relax, don't worry. Do not give these people. One is do not respond to these uh, messages. Do not reply to them. Do not entertain them. Just bloody ignore it. If you can, block it. You know, just, just don't give a damn. And please, for goodness sake, never ever use your authentic original number and contact these people. And once you meet the girl, don't give her your real number. Don't just, uh, you know, because you're high and she's giving a good suck. Don't give her your details. Never. De she need not know your real name. Nothing. Okay? So keep it that way. So I hope this helps you and I hope this gives you a bit of guidance. The reason why I want to share this with you is because there's a lot of scumbaggery that is going on and exploitation of people. People are losing their peace of mind. As it is, there's enough and more stress and problems in this world. We don't need more shit to take place. So this is what I wanted to share with you. Let me know privately if you want uh, through WhatsApp or through uh, emails. Have you been through such an experience? And if you have these people's contact details who have been blackmailing you, Please send it across to me. 
I'll forward it to the right authorities and I'll make sure that such people are put to the task. Okay, so take it easy, relax, have a good jig jig, you know, whatever. <laughs> Just use your head, not not that head, this head. Okay, so this is what I wanted to share with you. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. This is me signing off. Take care. Stop getting the wrong advice. Ensure you get the right skills for the right job for jobs in the Middle East. Contact Loy Macedo.